A lot of teachers use a multiplication grid to help their students learn and work with their multiplication facts. But what you may not know is that this chart, when combined with these two fingers, can help a student with reducing a fraction. Let's check it out. So let's practice with our first fraction. Let's say our first fraction was 21 30 fifths. So I'm going to place my pointer finger on my numerator, 21, and my thumb on 35, my denominator, and I'm going to slide my fingers to the left. And I now have my newly reduced fraction of 3 fifths from 21 30 fifths. So I started over here, numerator, denominator, 21 30 fifths, slide it to the left, and I now have my reduced fraction of 3 fifths. Let's try another example. Let's say I had 12 20 fourths, numerator, denominator, slide my fingers over to the left. I now have my newly reduced fraction of 2 fourths. However, I know that can be reduced even further. So here we go again, 2, 4, 2 fourths, slide it over to the left. I now have my newly reduced fraction of 1 half. So this is how you take a standard multiplication grid, a finger and a thumb, and teach your students how to reduce a fraction.